Imagine a world where animatronics come to life not to entertain, but to engage in a chilling battle of survival. Welcome to the eerie realm of Five Nights at Freddy's, more commonly known as FNF, where the line between playful amusement and spine-tingling horror blurs. Here we meet our central characters, each with their own distinct quirks and traits. Springtrap, the cunning and relentless, Freddy Fazbear, the charismatic leader, Chica, the cheerful yet unsuspecting, Bonnie, the brave and loyal, and Foxy, the swift and clever. Each of them plays a crucial role in this tale, their threads woven into a tapestry of suspense, mystery and dread. They may seem like ordinary animatronics, designed to entertain during the day, but as the sun sets, their true nature emerges. Just as night falls, a sinister plot begins to unfold. In the eerie silence Springtrap, the antagonist hatches a plan to eliminate Freddy Fazbear. Within the confines of his mind, Springtrap crafts a strategy as devious as he is. He knows Freddy, the jovial bear, is the heart and soul of the group, and taking him out would spread chaos and confusion among the others. He contemplates his gears whirling in the silence the perfect way to catch Freddy off guard. His plan is as simple as it is cruel. He knows Freddy's routines, his predictable patterns. He will exploit these striking when the bear least expects it. He smiles a chilling mechanical grin as he visualizes the downfall of the beloved bear. His sinister chuckles echo through the empty halls, a promise of the terror that is to come. Springtrap, the embodiment of malice, relishes in the thought of his plan's success. With a devilish grin, Springtrap sets his plan into motion. Tonight, the pizzeria's spotlight shines not on Freddy Fazbear's performance but on his impending doom. The stage is set not for the merry tunes that children usually flock to, but for an act of treachery that would send shivers down the strongest of spines. Springtrap, the villainous animatronic, has meticulously laid out his plan, and tonight, he flips the switch. The once vibrant and cheerful Freddy Fazbear, the star of the pizzeria, now stands under the spotlight, unaware of the plot that has been hatched against him. The execution of Springtrap's plan is as swift as it is ruthless. With the precision of a well-oiled machine, he strikes. Freddy, caught unawares, doesn't stand a chance. The shock hits him first, followed by the pain, and finally, the realization of betrayal. It's a sight that would make even the heartless flinch. The other characters, who were once comrades in arms, can only watch in horror. Bonnie, with his guitar frozen mid-strum, and Foxy, with his hook hanging limply by his side, are paralyzed by the sudden turn of events. The joyous atmosphere of the pizzeria is replaced by a palpable dread that hangs heavy in the air. Chica, the ever-smiling bird, is the first to react, but her shock quickly turns into fear as she realizes the gravity of the situation. She had always been the voice of reason among them, the glue that held them together, but even she is unable to process the horrific sight before her. Freddy Fazbear, their leader, their friend, is falling. The fall of Freddy Fazbear is not just the fall of an individual, it symbolizes the end of an era, the shattering of a camaraderie that had stood the test of time. It's a chilling reminder of the fragility of trust and the destructive power of betrayal. As Freddy Fazbear's lights go out, a chilling silence descends upon the pizzeria. A silence that speaks volumes, a silence that marks the end of innocence and the beginning of a nightmare. In the wake of Freddy's demise, Chica becomes the next target of Springtrap's malevolent scheme. The air is thick with tension, fear looming in every shadow as Springtrap turns his dreadful attention towards Chica. The once jovial bird now finds herself in the crosshairs of a predator, her mechanical heart pulsating in the eerie silence. Springtrap moves with a chilling precision, his cold steel fingers working with an unsettling efficiency. There is no room for compassion in his programming, only the ruthless pursuit of his dark agenda. Each piece of Chica, once a testament to her vibrant personality, falls away under his unyielding grasp. Her yellow feathers, her beady eyes, the beak that once chirped merry tunes, all dismantled, piece by piece, leaving only an empty shell behind. The remaining animatronics Bonnie and Foxy can only watch in silent horror as their friend is reduced to nothing more than a pile of scattered parts. The once bustling pizzeria is now a stage for a nightmarish spectacle, a chilling reminder of their own impending doom. The echoes of Chica's dismantling hang heavy in the air, a stark contrast to the joyous laughs that once filled the place. The playful banter, the songs, the laughter, all replaced by a haunting quiet, disturbed only by the ominous hum of Springtrap's mechanics. With two of their own gone, Bonnie and Foxy realize that they're next on Springtrap's hit list. 
Outnumbered but not outsmarted, Bonnie and Foxy decide to fight back. In the face of despair, Bonnie and Foxy, our heroes, rally their spirits. Stricken with grief but fueled by vengeance, they concoct a daring plan to halt Springtrap's reign of terror. Bonnie, the resilient rabbit, takes the lead. His quick thinking and strategic acumen have often saved the day, and today, he hopes it will do so again. He sketches out a plan, a clever ruse to trick their oppressor. Foxy, the fiery fox, stands by his side, a stalwart companion in this perilous mission. His bravery is unmatched, his loyalty unwavering, he offers his cunning, his agility, a vital component to their planned success. Together, they form an unbeatable duo, their camaraderie a beacon of hope in these dark times. They understand the gravity of their task, the risk they're taking, but they also know that they're the last line of defense, the only hope for their fallen friends. Their plan is a dangerous gambit, but it's one they're willing to take. They're not just fighting for themselves, but for Freddy, for Chica, for their home. They're ready to face down their fears, ready to challenge the odds. The tension is palpable, the stakes are high, but Bonnie and Foxy stand resolute, their determination unwavering. With their plan set, Bonnie and Foxy prepare for the showdown of their lives. In a pizzeria turned battleground, Bonnie and Foxy confront Springtrap in a final bid for survival. This isn't just a fight, it's a desperate stand against an adversary who has proven to be formidable and ruthless. Bonnie and Foxy, two characters we've come to admire for their grit and resolve, square off against the menacing spring trap. Their objective is clear, but the path to victory is shrouded in uncertainty. Bonnie, with his signature guitar, strums the strings of courage. His music cuts through the eerie silence of the pizzeria, a defiant anthem against the terror that spring trap represents. Foxy on the other hand brandishes his hook, a symbol of his unyielding determination. They're ready, they're resolved, and they're not going down without a fight. The air is thick with tension as Springtrap paces, his every move calculated and deliberate. He's a formidable opponent, his past victories serving as stark reminders of his capabilities. But Bonnie and Foxy are undeterred. They've come too far to back down now, too far to let fear dictate their actions. The confrontation unfolds with heart-stopping intensity. Bonnie and Foxy, despite their fear and the odds stacked against them, refuse to yield. They fight with everything they've got, their actions a testament to their strength and their refusal to let Springtrap win. Their every move, their every decision, is driven by their shared determination to survive, to ensure that Springtrap's reign of terror ends. The battle rages on, a maelstrom of chaos and courage, fear and fortitude. Bonnie, Foxy, and Springtrap, locked in an epic struggle that's as much about survival as it is about proving who has the upper hand. The outcome hangs in the balance, the end as uncertain as the flickering shadows that dance across the pizzeria's walls. As the dust settles, the pizzeria's lights flicker back to life revealing the aftermath of the battle. The echoes of the confrontation linger, a chilling reminder of the price of survival. But for now, the fight is over. The battleground is silent once again and Bonnie and Foxy stand tall in the face of adversity, their spirits unbroken, their resolve unshaken. In the wake of the battle the pizzeria stands eerily silent. The echoes of the clash have faded, replaced by a chilling stillness. The once lively animatronics, now lie dormant, their fate shrouded in mystery. Has Springtrap been stored away for good, and what has become of Bonnie and Foxy? Questions linger in the air, unanswered, thickening the suspense that hangs heavy in the room. As the sun rises a new day dawns in the pizzeria, forever changed by the events of the night. 